In terms of the arm disconnection, this is kind of something I'm really passionate about because I, again, I've gone through this as well, man. So I kind of have three different, I guess, drills, <laughs> three tiers or whatever, and uh, they're kind of just different tools. So first tool that I would say is kind of the most beneficial that we see, that I, that I see the um, biggest success with is counterbalance stuff. So I have a three pound here, but you can use two pound, three pound. I'll include all these product recommendations. You don't have to get them, but like I said, they're, they're really cool uh, to, to see them, you know, put, put into action and work. So as simple as putting a counterbalance in your glove, or if you're just doing like drill progressions, have it in your hand. And so what we see is when we give that front side stability here and we overload it with a heavier object, now the glove arm, the glove side gets more connected, right? Which is gonna allow us with, uh, with our throwing arm to be more connected as well, because they have to match. So I think what happens with that instability issue that we see from the drive leg and the trunk is um, again, that leakage kind of just moving forward without being connected. If we add that stability in, a, in the sense of a counterbalance like this, then we become a lot more biomechanically efficient and connected. And then it's just about hammering those motor control patterns that we're doing with like a connection ball, right? So I tell guys, you know, especially young guys, I, I give like say, hey, just play catch with this dude. Like, here we go. Now we're, we're just playing catch, right? Um, but even for you, uh, I think playing catch with it, doing your drill progressions with it, very simple stuff like that, just blending those over and instilling those motor control patterns that we're trying to replicate. So then the body and the brain can kind of download that and have that motion memory, right? So let me know if you have questions on the counterbalance. I'll include more breakdowns on that. The next one would be like a connection ball which is super simple because again, we're trying to instill feedback, right? For you and um, you know, yeah, video use is great, but you're trying to create feedback and body awareness during the activity. So that's why I like the connection ball because it gives you that really efficient feedback of like, okay, this is hand connection right here. Now let's go ahead and preset that position that we're getting a little bit disconnected right around like that front foot strike and that lead leg stabilization period and then now we're just kind of instilling this pattern right that clip you saw with Avaldi here how he that hand is connected and now we're just instilling this pattern here and then boom right so you're just again those motor control patterns that we're needing to instill can be done with uses of tools like that and then the last one I would say and this is um this is something that uh, I, I talk a lot about, and I don't know if there's a whole lot of people who agree with me, but the use of like bell club, Indian club stuff, right? So instilling these kind of biomechanics of just efficient connectivity with your arm and just doing stuff like very simple stuff like this with your bell club and then having that hand connection. Again, I'll include all these links to these tools, but even with the bell club, it, the, the way that it's shaped, you can do like dry throws right and kind of just allow that feedback of hand connection because here's the here's the way i kind of look at same thing with like a counterbalance or even like a weighted ball sometimes the theory is is that the body is so smart and adaptable to protect itself against any type of like injury or biomechanic like deviation so usually when we throw this is why we can throw a football like all the live long day and why quarterbacks don't have tommy john because when we're heavy here our body syncs up extremely, again, biomechanically efficient and gets put into places that are needed, right? So um, even with like a tool, like a club, throwing heavier balls, do counterbalance and like seven, eight, nine ounce baseball throws, because you're gonna start seeing that your body is gonna force that connection with your hands, right? So again, that's, that's a five ounce, but I, I mean, I throw away to baseballs as well. So. There's all those types of variations that you can use and implement that I think will just provide that really good feedback and then give you that, those motor control patterns. And then you just hammer those dude. And over time, you're gonna clean up like a 